All right, what's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of The Strength Classroom. I have a special guest for today's video. I'm not gonna take up too much time. I'll let him introduce himself. Uh, go follow him on his page and uh, I'll let him take it away. Hello class, what's going on? My name is Gabriel from the Gabriel Martin Lifts channel here on YouTube. If you don't know me, I'm a Brazilian lifter who has just got started on the international market. I make videos about the conjugate method, especially having the beginner lifter and the intermediate lifter on focus in regards to raw and natural training. I am someone who has read pretty much every single article with the name Louis Simmons on it. I listen to every single podcast, watch the DVDs, read the books so what I mean by that is that I made my research but also I experienced with the conjugate method the way that it was written by Louis Simon from Westside Barbell on the books and on every single platform that we have access to and that led me to a lot of success but also a lot of mistakes what I mean by that is that I am not shy to say the things that did not work but I am also proud to say the things that did work with that in mind I'm very happy to be here on the strength classroom channel to talk with you guys about not getting lost on max effort exercise variations and what I mean by that is that there's not a lot of content telling you how to select the exercises for your max effort day it's not a big part of the conjugate as it may seem by what we see online but it's also something very important and you have to have in mind that the main idea of the max effort exercise is to be a neurological stimuli you're not worried about building muscle you will not build muscle actually you're only doing that to work on your muscle activation you must have in mind that when you're dealing with conjugate you're juggling with a lot of balls and the main goal of max effort is activating neurologically the most amount of muscle fibers that you can in that specific range of motion so you already have pretty much what you need there some people will say that the range of motion does not matter and what matters is holding maximal loads and stimulating as much as mu the muscle fibers that you can but I will argue the opposite right so it's very specific to the range of motion because when you're dealing with your exercise weaknesses let's just start putting examples if you're dealing with the weakness at the bottom of, of, of the bench press in your chest you need to train your body to activate as much muscle fibers of your chest as possible to explode the bar so if you're training with a max effort exercises that does not use the bottom you're not helping yourself in that way you need to allow yourself who might be a novice or intermediate lifter who is natural and lifts raw to actually acquire those gains it's not enough for you to only do those exercises one time in one week and expect you to have gained everything that you came from them so i'm going to give you the following idea select only a few max effort exercises something between three five six and keep rotating between them and one of them or maybe you know you have your six and then plus one that you're going to use as a tester because it's very important to test yourself i have made that mistake and i went months and months only doing partial bands different range of motion exercises and then what happens was that my weakness changed so in my case talking about my my squat i used to have really weak hamstrings and i brought them up to a point where i could do nordic curls with added weight which is something that might not seem amazing but a lot of people cannot do and in that period somewhere between that somewhere along that journey my weaknesses changed and i kept training my hamstrings and my glutes so when i went to test my squat i did the pr but it wasn't as good as i expected which is weird because i was still making prs on my max effort exercises so what i can learn by that experience is that yes i was selecting exercises that focus on my hamstrings and glutes so box squats wide stance bands and everything however they were not training my weak links at that specific moment which came to be my quads i ignored my quads so long they became my weak point if i had used at least one exercise that had more or less of every single element that you need to test on the squat i would have noticed it in 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 regards to weight or watching a video having someone watching me that what failed in that lift was my quads and i only learned that lesson when i actually went to test my squat i actually failed at the bottom something that is kind of rare to see the hard truth is 
that you actually need to use your common sense and that's something that people don't like to use nowadays you cannot have very few exercises you actually can but you need to have strategy right so let's just say right now that you can't have too few and you cannot have too much otherwise you won't be able to circle back to them and see where you're at and what might help you is if you have four or five exercises you repeat them once every one or two months and then you can watch your videos if you have them side by side or just take note on your notebook how you feel while doing those exercises so you can compare them between themselves and see what changed because that is the key to allow your progress in the long run to know that you're working exactly where you need to work a side effect of thinking of your max effort exercises like this is that you can actually work in phases and that's something that I noticed that is really good not only for keeping you consistent but also making you want to lift always right so the idea is that you think of four or five exercises that you might do once or twice in a row and then during that period you work something very specific so let's say it's just chest so you I don't know put two one two or three exercises for your chest and then remove one for your triceps but then you make the compromise with yourself that you're only gonna do that for as long as you have your cycle in mind nowadays I train like that thinking of these meso cycles so I select four or five exercises on the bench press that are gonna work my chest as a max effort and then I train the hell out of my chest and then after all of this meso cycle I test with the exercise that I know that is chest bias or that is more balanced and then I start to think of my next meso cycle so that my keep being the chest if I still need could be my shoulders or could be my triceps and specifically I do two meso cycles like that and then I do another one when I train something completely different that I feel like training in the moment that might be an overhead press that might be keeping the bench because I don't want anything but I, I you having specific time blocks where you think I'm gonna train this on this period keeps you from varying too much and then losing yourself in the variations and that's something that is very common especially novices and intermediates who run the conjugate program especially because we live in the era of information circling back to something that I mentioned before on this video I actually said that you might be able to have too few of exercises and the way that you do that is actually changing the parameters so you might not do a max effort variation you might do three or five repetition maximums and that is gonna change but it doesn't change enough so as I said before you need to have common sense because when you're talking about strength training or hypertrophy most of the times you don't need to be optimal you just need to be good enough and that can be said for many things that can be said about sets and reps that can be said about total vo weekly volume that can be said about stabilization and that can be said about neurological stimuli you're not dealing with so much weight that doing one heavy squat section is going to affect your bones so much that you're not going to be able to recover and you're not going to be dealing with weights that are light enough that it's going they are going to stimulate your muscle as much as your brain so think about that you're in the happy medium that if you do a three rep max it's heavy enough to stimulate your you neurologically but also stimulate a little bit of your muscles but it's not as light as someone who is only gonna get a stimulus for their muscles and what I mean by that is that if you get a novice and you do a one rep max and then you leave the gym they might get sore and that's crazy to think about because we don't think about that but if you who already trains for a couple years do that you're not gonna feel anything and if you're also so elite that you do a one rep max you might be fried for the week because you're dealing with so much absolute load that is compressing your discs that is you know stressing your bones is stressing your ligaments so that actually might be a problem so you are in the happy medium that if you do this three or five rep max they are biased enough to give you a neurological stimulus but you also can keep do, using the same exercises and there is a little bit of a muscular stimulus especially with the five rep maxes that is going to help you with the hypertrophy which should be the main goal of someone who is the novice or intermediate and especially someone who is raw running the conjugate program the hypertrophy aspect is the most important one it is to the point that i will say that the only difference between a normal hypertrophy program and a conjugate program for someone who is a novice intermediate raw and natural 
is that you're also training the neurological part of your system as meanwhile someone who is training hypertrophy is not but the rest of the program is pretty much the same so here's the knowledge that i wanted to share with the class today i hope that you guys learned something here with me so i will invite you guys to leave a like to subscribe and comment on this video i would also like to say that i'm very happy bringing you guys this message and since i'm a guest i'm gonna say it class dismissed